come and see. These are the words of Philip to Nathaniel. These were the words that Jesus himself used when John the Baptist told his disciples, Behold, he is the man, he is the Messiah. Go after him. And Andrew and others following Jesus, Jesus turning around and asked them, Why are you following me? And they reply and said, we want to see where you are staying. And Jesus gives them that invitation, come and see. My dear brothers and sisters, these two powerful words, come and see. The word come is an invitation word. Please come. Please come into my house. Please enter my house. We invite people by saying, please come. It's an invitation word. And therefore Jesus giving an invitation to the disciples, come, enter. The word see is an action word, a participative word, asking us to do something. And therefore, when you combine these two words together, come and see, it becomes a powerful invitation to enter, to see for oneself, to have a personal encounter with Jesus, to have a first-hand experience of Jesus. You come and see. Don't believe what others have told you. You come and experience for yourself. You come and see where I am staying. Once again, we see in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 11, Jesus giving two invitations of a very similar nature to his disciples. Come to me and learn from me. Once again, Jesus inviting people to have a very personal experience, a personal encounter with him. You don't need to believe what other people say about me. You don't need to believe in me because other people say I am the son of God. You come and have a personal experience, a personal encounter with me. And then you believe. All of us were baptized as little children. And maybe some of us follow Jesus because we are baptized Christians. Because it's good to be part of the Christian community. But there is a time in our life when we must make this baptism our own. We must appropriate this baptism for ourselves. And that is that moment of time when we must come and see for ourselves. As adult Christians, we must be convinced of who Jesus is and of whom we are following in our lives. And when you are convinced, live that conviction every day of your life. Do not follow someone because Pope Francis is saying something about Jesus. Do not follow Jesus because someone else has written about him. Follow Jesus because you believe in him and you are convinced that he is the Son of God. And therefore, brothers and sisters, the invitation that Jesus gave Andrew, Philip, and all the disciples is an invitation he is giving to each and every one of us. Come and see. Come to me and learn from me. And once you have done this, now come and follow me.